Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I was wondering if any of my subscribers out there know what happened to Lewis Johnson. Because as we know, we lost Lewis Johnson, the phenomenal bass player, uh, this year at age 60. And I found out about his death like two, three days after the fact. I'm like, what happened to the news coverage of the front page news story about this? Like most of you guys, you found out after the fact. And uh, it didn't state cause of death. He died at age 60. And that's still kind of relatively young to pass away unless you deal with a long-term illness. Uh, so I checked yesterday, you know, because, uh, you know, to check to see, you know, what actually happened. Because I imagine at the beginning of well, when it happened, they didn't have the information. So uh, I looked on Wikipedia and it just stated passed away at age 60. You know, uh, most of you know I was a bass player before I became a guitar player. And one of my idols was Lewis Johnson. Uh, you know, unbelievable guitar, I mean, bass player. You know, most of us know him for the thumping thing, but you know, if you listen to the stuff that he's done with Michael Jackson, uh, Quincy Jones, Herbie Hancock, Stevie Wonder, you know, he was just an all around good bass player. If you were to just take the slap thing out of his resume, he still would be looked upon as a great bass player. You know, so uh, if any of you guys know what happened, you know, please leave me a comment and, and let me know what happened. Because again, you know, it angers me that there was no news coverage on this man. You know, he was one of the greatest bass players that ever lived. No news coverage, no media coverage or nothing. But, and I'm going to say this, and a lot of people are not going to like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You know, I look up and see when Whitney Houston passed away, who was, I was a big fan, uh, front page news, in the news, an entire day of the funeral telecast on TV and knocked out, a, knocked out my TV regular program. And I'm saying to myself, here is somebody who had a good life and fucked it up. You know, uh, I mean, just, you know, you can't uh, sugarcoat it. Uh, had a wonderful life, multi-millionaire, and, and just became a drug addict. Because I look at it like this, and I know everybody is not me, and everybody is different. Everybody is different. But if I'm walking down the street, and I see somebody walk out in traffic, get hit by a bus, and get killed, am I going to walk out in the street in traffic and, 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 and run a risk of getting hit or killed neither? I mean... We all know the devastations of drugs, and nobody is exempt from that. You know, I think there's some people that think that I'm, a, I'm Superman. I can do whatever I want, and it's just not going to phase or kill me. And it's just ridiculous. You know, again, you know, I'm sitting here watching a whole day of this mess because I'm saying to myself, uh, she put herself in that grave, you know, and, and I have a hard time having sympathy. And again, forgive me for being frank or blunt. I have a hard time being... Uh, sympathetic to people that hung themselves, you know, because uh, I can even understand this scenario, which I still don't agree with it. You know, you're a struggling dude, and you know all your life you're going to struggle. You're going to die struggling. You're going to pass on the struggling to your kids, even though you want to do something great, but it just never materialized. So you take drugs to kind of numb your reality to, 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 of, of not being able to be successful like you want to, and you kind of get hooked on that stuff. As opposed to you already got everything, the world is your oyster. You're still young. You're beautiful. You're talented. What you do? You fuck it up. You know, there's more than enough money from these celebrities that are on drugs that can say, you know what? I'm going to wake up today and stop this nonsense because I got enough money to take a whole year off and go to rehab and get cleaned out as opposed to I'm having relapses or I'm hanging out with people that don't want to stop using drugs because that's the other thing. Uh, you know, you want to disassociate yourself with people that will have an uh, adverse effect on your life. You know, there are many people throughout my life that were good friends of mine. So I had to cut them, cut them loose because they were drug addicts. They were starting to get on drugs. I'm like, I'm not having that. I'm not having you come on over my house, scoping what I got, and coming back when I go to work. You know, so it's just unfortunate that all the sensation for this and none for Lewis Johnson. You know, nothing. I didn't see nothing on TV, nothing on the news. You know, here's a man that have made a big contribution to the bass playing world because if it wasn't for him, I would have never picked up a bass. If it wasn't for Rick James, I would have never wrote a song, you know. So uh, I just find it unfortunately, unfortunate that, you know, again, here's a man, tremendous talent, no coverage, nothing, no tribute, no nothing. But Whitney Houston, two days of this, you know. But that's just my opinion. And until next time, take care.